Welcome back guys to JC Vlogs. Um, as you see, my new name is actually JC Goat. Because people can't find my YouTube channel when I tell them to subscribe. So I changed it to JC Goat. Because I don't think really people have JC Goat as a name for their YouTube channel. So today I told you guys I'll be doing a 10 day challenge. And that's what I'm doing right now. This is my second day. Um, so, basically, it's my first day of actually vlogging, but it's my second day of the video of the 10-day challenge. So, we're going to be doing a thing of baseball. I'm going to be showing you guys how to swing, and, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm outside. Welcome back, guys. Now we're back outside. Um, I just need to ask one question. Um, if you guys think what time I should be doing... Vlogs. Well, I'm gonna be doing them in the morning and at night, but I want you guys to know if there's my dog back there. I want you guys to see what time I should upload at because I'm thinking actually a 4 p.m. upload, and if I do that, I'm going to be doing vlogs later that night because I gotta get it uploaded for that next day so or I could upload at 12 it depends because then I could do day and night because if I do it at 4 then I can't do anything past 4 or then I miss my upload so yeah it's complicated I'll do it at the end of the vlog so first thing for baseball is your swing but we're not gonna get to that right now it depends what age you are at um if you're like 10, I don't know why I keep on dropping this, but sorry for the messy background, but if you are like 10, um, 11, 9, I prefer you guys should get a 29. The 29 bet, it depends what kind of bet you got. I mean, this is, I have an Easton and um, stuff, a Mako Easton, but that's in my car, so I'm not going to be getting that. I'm just using this for like um, a test video. So, what you guys really want is to get a 29 for that group that I just said. For 10s, 9s, and 11s. For um, that. And I prefer if you're like 10, use a 17 to 16, 11, 17 to 18. And this is a 19. Right? I think it's a 19. Yeah, it's 19. But I'm 10. So, um, it depends, like, what bats you really want. Because if they have Makos, I don't think they go to, they go up to 29s and past that and a little lower. But I don't think they have anything 29 and under 15, 16. So, I think you have to start off at least, if you're 9, with the 29, 16, and then work your way up each year, get a new bat, or maybe just keep that bat for two years, because I really prefer you guys to at least try a bat you really like, because if you don't like that bat, then... You're not going to be swinging good. Maybe you don't like the feel and stuff. So it's going to be hard for you. So get a bat you really like. And maybe two years to three years, change your bat up. Either get a new bat or just find one off Craigslist or something. Because I know this bat is what I got this brand new for 29.17. I mean 19. So I prefer you guys, if you get a little stronger each year, go up one ounce that's it unless you feel like a bat feels really good to you move up two but that's really all the height you could go the height you could go in an ounce because ounces it gets high it, it gets pretty heavy 19 ounces it's not heavy heavy but for a metal bat i mean metal like a good bat so it has a lot of pop this is an Easton Megum, Megum, I don't know, 
and, e and Easton. Wait, turn around. Yeah, Easton. Easton. Dang. Alright, now you guys should see. Easton. Yeah, I don't know. But, as you guys could see, you guys could see all of that. Information, I don't know if it's turned the right way, but you could kind of see it. Zoom in more on this side. This side. Shout out to an Easton all around. Good bat. Uh, this is a grip and handle. So, see, it says 29. So, how to swim? What I taught people how to swim. Well, my dad taught me this way too. Was well, this is my new way. Um, but you kind of want if you're just getting used to baseball, do this. Like, um, just have your hands like this and your feet, whatever stance you like. Like, Pia's, there's different stands, like, I'll move this, I'll oh, move back, hold on. Um, different stances. Pick what one you like. If you ever saw, like, an MLB game where you went to one, you can see the close your stance is in one. So, yeah, whatever stance you feel is good for you the best, then use that stance. So, I prefer to do like uh, my stance. I like do like this. But you could do a stance, any stance you want, like this, like this, like this, wiggle with that, anything you want. Anything basically you feel comfortable. Because if you don't feel comfortable, then going to be hard for you, but if you feel comfortable, then it's going to be perfect, so do whatever stance, and about switch hitters, we'll get right back into the righties and stuff, but about switch hitters, because I am a switch hitter, so I have like a couple different stances for my lefty, because like I'm not, like I wasn't born lefty, but I learned to switch hit, so I'm a switch hitter now, so now I got the rhythm of like which stance I like, and I kind of like a stance like this. I just didn't want to point all the way because of this tree, but yeah, a stance like that. And my swing's not that hard, lefties, but I can tell you I can make good contact and drive that ball. So one more time. If you guys feel like lefties have more power than righties, I kind of feel that too because I, I can see lefties driving that ball and righties striking out or even not driving. So, if you guys are asking that question, I think they do, but I don't really know. But, back into the righty. Pick what stance you feel comfortable with, um, like any stance, and then your hands. If you are a lefty, you're gonna switch your hands. Your right hand is going. Your right hand is gonna go on the bottom, and then your left hand is gonna go on the top. So you have that like cock back, and you want to make sure your like knuckles are like even like that. I don't know if you guys can see like that, and then I'll back up, and then you're gonna cock back whatever stance you feel like. And then you're gonna come. I do a leg kick because I stay closed more, but you don't have to, whatever you want. Like, just don't really lift your leg up or like lift the leg up trying to do it like this. You don't have to, but always make sure your hands are even. My dad used to teach people on the plate. Um, I'll just say this is the plate. He always used to teach people to do a line with your foot front foot so you go like this I don't do it anymore because I actually know how to do it now but you just put your thing there and your stance whatever you want I don't really care if you feel comfortable with it so then you want to come up remember you want to keep this back. It's like a pitch, like you're pitching. That's what I do when I 
and take with my leg kick. If you can hold this, that's good. But you want to come, cock back like a pitch, er, and then finish too. So like this. Soon as you get here, you want to look down. For instance, I actually have a baseball right here. It's a little dirty, but so a baseball, right? Who doesn't like baseball? Baseball is the best sport. If you guys don't agree, then you don't agree. I'm sorry, but baseball is the best sport. No, I'm kidding. It could be the best sport, but if you guys like football, you like football. If you guys like soccer, you like soccer. If you guys like hockey, you like hockey. If you guys like baseball, you like baseball. Uh, it's just my personal opinion that I like baseball more than any sport, and then basketball, and then football, and then blah, blah, blah. Alright, so, um, this, you, people don't know how to throw balls up. So, the hand that you cock back with, if you're a lefty, then your left hand you hold the bat with, your right hand you throw the ball up. So, for instance, like this. swing. Depends how big your field is. 60, 90, 50, 70, 40, 60, 60. Depends how big your field is. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, when you swing for the righty, um, it's the same thing with your hands, but your right hand's on top and your left hand's on the bottom now. Same thing, knuckles, good. Even, I'm sorry if this is like bad lighting and sunny, but I hope it's pretty good. So like this, and then my leg kick. Same thing as a pitcher, because I'm a righty at pitching, so I go like this. I go back. I go back more than my lefty. My lefty, you see, I just go like this. And then swing. My righty's a little different. My righty, I like cocking back or my, not, don't turn your back like that, but if you want to kick your arms and like, boom, just wait. Or like that, I cock that back, you know, um, but people, some, you can feel comfortable, you could do this, just wait, or you could cock back, whatever one, but 
if you do come back, then I personally think you should have a leg kick. But you personally don't have to, because if you don't want to, then you don't have to. But I, I just think it's keeping you close more. So I go like this. your hands out here and bang. So one more time fast and I'll get how to like that to do it. And then you just swing all your force like this. That ball is probably driven, gone, double, single. But I can tell you if you keep your head down, I guarantee you won't swing out. If you just keep your head down, you relax. Still looking down, you're perfect. So, for me, do this. I'm gonna show you guys um, some tips, and I'll just show you guys one more thing, and then we're done. But for this right now, um, you want your hands always back and explode, and explode, and explode. And I do these three tips for this little part. If I teach anyone, I go like this. Flashlight all the way through. Mic in. So you Mike and Ike. Mike and Ike. That's what me and my dad call it. Mike and Ike. You gotta stay with Mike. You gotta stay with Ike. So. Ike stays with Mike, and Mike stays with Ike. So they're not separating. Your hips are not coming out. If your hips come out, you, you're, you're done. And if your hands don't stay close, like this, if they're out here with the hips like that, but you're striking out, you're not hit, you're not going to hit that ball that good. Even if you do hit it, it it's probably just going to be really weak. So make sure you guys do... Oh, sorry, I'm hitting you. Make sure you guys do this. That this is one, two, and then three. So I call it three steps, three tips, and yeah. And one more thing. Um, now just put all that stuff together. It's easy for lefties to righties. Put all that stuff together. Now find the batting stance you're comfortable with, and then that ball. Dude, with a real pitcher on the mound, Evie is literally, even MLB. Adolph Chapman throws probably the fastest dude that throws. 106, that's his top, but he, his regulation is actually 101. That's what he throws normally. But that pitch, you only have two seconds. As soon as he gets that ball released right here, or anywhere he releases that, you only have two seconds to swing. And with the real major league pitcher, you have six. Well, down here in the small leagues, like majors or minors or whatever, you have about five to seven seconds. Because think about it, they can throw harder for 
is your pulsar. So you have about one, two, three, four, and then that ball is somewhere. So this is you gotta put all that together, and you gotta just swing hard, swing hard. So for instance, like this. Yeah, I'll just get close. You know, you gotta do. And one more tip before I leave, and you could go up against a tree or whatever that has something or a wall and work on staying close. And if you stay close, this is what you gotta do. Make sure your thing hits like this and it just stays extra close. You stay in this batting stance or whatever. Stay there. And then stay close, you gotta boom. And you can't hit that. So for instance, I'll put the swing too so it could be done and over with. The swing and that. Ready? That. you guys like this little baseball tutorial um how to like swing and what bat you need and i think um I, I think i'll see you guys tomorrow because i'm doing that 10 day challenge you know this is my second day boy yeah. see you peace quick reminder Later on, I'm going to be going to the lake with my friend Evan. You saw him in the other vlog, not the one I did yesterday, the other vlog when we were at ShopRite. And we almost got kicked out. That was a cool part. But that was that vlog that he was in. That's Evan. And I might be seeing him today at the lake. So that will be in the next vlog. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right? Tomorrow. And just a quick reminder... When I see him today, that vlog is going to be up tomorrow, probably at 4, because I want to do a 4 um, book. Like, I want to put my vlogs at a time that it's going to be up every day and make sure I do it every day. So, I hope I guys, um, I hope I see you tomorrow. And if you haven't, please subscribe and also Please turn on those post notifications. Get that golden like button. That's going to be five for the day. Hope you guys subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Tell your friends. And I'll see you back next time.